Hello, my name is Doug Timbrock with QMS Inc. Uh, I'm going to be uh, demoing the quality certificate processing uh, steps. We're going to look at be inside quality management menu path here where my cursor is and we'll make our way eventually down here to quality certificate and look at um, some of the master data setup required but I'm going to initially set the scenario up by doing an inspection lot, uh, gener create the results, uh, do the UC post the UC decision. Those test results will go over to the actually the go over to the batch batch uh, record that we have set up, and I'll go into the batch classification, and then we will print the certificate out of the results sitting in the batch classification and I'll show how that works. So to start with go to quality inspection and then I open up inspection lot processing. I'm going to do a manual inspection lot here. This would normally be from a uh, d during delivery creating the certificate of analysis but I'm going to create it for a manual one off a batch number, off a batch record. So I'm going to first create an inspection line, QA01 create, and I'll use this material plant inspection origin 01. So simulating a purchased material that we're going to sell, do a certificate. And then I need to enter some basic information here just to get the inspection line. And I'm going to hit the uh, create batch since it's a batch managed material, batch number 433. I'll save. So there's our uh, inspection lot created. I'm now going to close this up, go to work list, QE51 and results recording. And I'll put our material in. And this last one, 433, is the one we just did this batch for this material. So I'll go ahead and record results. I'm gonna I'm gonna pass these, make sure I'm in spec 29 to 31. So I'm gonna enter 30 and then choose from something from the, the qualitative side, something that's a pass. Hit enter, status is turned to five, everything's good. Hit save. I'm now gonna do the usage decision. And I'll pass this. Hit save and refresh. That inspection line is now gone. So we're good there. I'm going to back out, close this up, go into quality planning, logistics master data, batch. I want to see the batch record. Display MSC3N. And this, the number was 433 was the last batch just did. Hit enter. Let um, me search for it. Like I need deleting zeros. Hit enter. And then the classification tab, you'll see that the results got passed from the inspection lot over to the batch class. So the Inspection characteristics were set up to where they were linked to the batch class. So these are linked and tied right to the batch, the test results. You'll see the certificate of analysis. We have the choice of either coming out of the batch characteristics or off the inspection lot. So I wanted you to see that they were over on the batch. Now I'll back up. Now we have our data set up, our scenario set up. Now go, let's go look at the master data in certificate processing. The easiest way to find my certificate profile being used is go to certificate profile, or, or excuse me, outgoing, open up certificate profile, and then open up assignment, and then display. This is where we're going to assign materials to profiles with the actual outbound certificate we're going to use. So I'm going to do a display. <clears throat> I look for a material. My material default, okay, it was in memory. Let me hit execute. And if I look at this line, you'll see that it's linked to a profile, which is QS01. This profile is like a mini in 
mini plan, like an inspection plan almost, but in this case it is what is supposed to be printed on the certificate of analysis and what, you know, are there supposed to be spec ranges along with the test results. Um, there's several functions we can do inside the profile. So if we were testing 20 things um, during receiving or production goods received or purchase receiving inspection and we only need five, <coughs> this is where we tell the system what five need to be on the certificate. So I'm going to highlight this, I'm going to drill into the profile which is a separate transaction but I can drill in from this screen. And here is the header of that certificate profile and the characteristics that are to be used are these on the outbound certificate are the thread length and electroplating. And where are they to come from? The test results? These are to come from the class characteristics which is the batch class. If I would put master inspection characteristic that would come from the inspection lot. I'm going to double click on this first line to see the detail behind it. So this just this stretched out line shown in an easier screen to see but this is coming from the batch class. The actual origin, the, the data is coming from the batch class using the class characteristic as to get the description from there. And this first one is going to use the inspection specification range, the lower and upper spec off the inspection plan. And then there's more functions we can have with uh, how to output, what type of unit of measure, what decimal points we need to use, any additional text. And then if I look at the second one, I'm saying it's coming from batch class again, but no spec. Don't worry about the specification showing on the screen. That is what dictates or helps create our certificate, our C of A. This information right here. So I'm going to back out. So that's our master data. That's the master data that has to be set up for certificate processing. Close up the master data. Now I'm going to go to create uh, certificate create for batch. QC22. This is a manual run here. You normally again would be this would be done during delivery. Automatic we'd have a setup for automatic printing. Okay, I'm gonna choose a recipient. I'm just gonna choose any customer for now. I did the auto lookup for the profile, it found it because it's in that uh, assignment screen. And so for this particular material and batch, I want to print a certificate of analysis. What are the test results sitting on this batch? So I'm going to hit execute. And I did hit this process in foreground so I can see it in foreground in the screen here. And hit execute. And what I'm going to do is not physically print, I'm going to do print preview. And now on the first, you'll see this is the certificate of analysis, the C of A. It has this is standard coming out of uh, generic coming out or, or standard coming out of SAP. And often we modify this some to make it more company specific, more customer specific. But here's my who I'm shipping it to, some information about the certificate, the material, the batch, the inspection lot, the date, and then here's my values, my test results, here's the test and the lower and upper limit. And so this is a kind of a quick uh, cycle of getting to printing a certificate of analysis. Uh, the longer version would have been creating a sales order, a delivery, a posting goods issue, and then getting our certificate of analysis to print. And that then would be linked to the delivery so we can reprint as well.